Welcome back, Time Cruisers. I'm your host, R.R. Slugger, and today we once again slip into the Twilight Zone with our look at set 6496, Whirling Time Warper. Professor Millennium helms this outlandish vehicle along with the trusted aid of his ghostly companion. These classic LEGO ghosts have a charmingly straightforward design. A monochrome body lies underneath this glow-in-the-dark shell, creating a truly retro look. This ghost has come prepared for the road ahead, as it packed a bag for their day trip together. These chrome gold bugles are a staple of Time Twister's engineering. I'm not sure exactly what functional purpose they serve, but I think it's safe to say that the Time Twisters aren't interested in the stealth approach. Flames, bat wings, and propellers are of the typical Time Cruiser's fare, but something a little more unique to this set are the skeleton heads seen popping up on either side of the vehicle. The mechanism that controls this movement is quite integral to the whirling time warper. When you roll the vehicle across a surface, well, a lot of stuff starts happening. Starting at the front of the vehicle, these dragon helms and mounted crossbows start moving up and down, likely to instill fear or wreak havoc, whichever comes first. These long blue pivot arms rest on a familiar dark gray peg in the rear wheel, causing the bat wings to flap with each rotation. This flapping motion is what causes the dapper skulls to bob up and down and occasionally rotate. They are held in position via gravity, taking a design idea seen in the Rocket Racer to a whole new level. Honestly, the designers could have left the play features at that, but someone had the brilliant idea to also run an elastic band from the rear axle to this quad propeller. It spins at a slightly faster speed than the wheels due to the clever use of dissimilar bushings. This propeller then serves as the counterweight to the vehicle's main attraction, the Hypnodisc Chamber. Within this chamber are the spoils and plunder of a time well rated. The set gives you a large number of studs to use as ballast, though there are several other artifacts that may be more noteworthy. Magic wands, chrome silver daggers, a hydrolator crystal, and two full sprues worth of gold doubloons turn the whirling time warper into quite the attractive parts pack. I don't recommend letting these items sit through the tumble cycle if you want them to stay shiny though. Feel free to fill this container with any accessories you like, though be prepared for them to get sloshed about in there. I personally like to use these transparent spiders from the Harry Potter series, but nearly any energy source will do. Did I say energy source? Well, I meant it. It appears that Time Twisters exists with the same Mad Max dystopian logic, where the valuable treasure the people seek is also the power source they use to seek it with. Within the Whirling Time Warper, we see a literal furnace, which seems to be heating the loot inside the power drum, potentially fueling the whole machine. Professor Millennium cleans up well, but I don't think it's a stretch to say that his reverse-engineered builds are much cruder than his monkey-loving adversary. The Professor controls the vessel within this hinged glass bubble, which is a piece so evocative of 1960s futurism, I am genuinely shocked it was never produced before 1997. Even though it was only used in a dozen sets, we will actually be seeing it a couple more times in future Slugger videos. Lastly, I need to mention the most infamous element of this set, the Belleville Bathtub. This piece was only ever produced in white and was included in a grand total of three sets. In the two Belleville sets, it was, well, a bathtub. But here, it has been lovingly integrated into the frame of the vehicle. Right from the first step of the instructions, the upside down bathtub tells you that this isn't going to be your average build. In addition to adding a solid foundation for the cockpit and furnace, its inclusion also adds a classy white stripe around the exterior. We see a lot of Belleville reuse within LEGO sets of this era, but the Whirling Time Warper has got to be one of my favorite instances of this. Unlike in my previous videos in this series, there are no alternate or combiner models for the Whirling Time Warper. But that shouldn't stop us from making some of our own, should it? Within the LEGO Mania magazines, there was a large emphasis placed on pairing time twisters with Roboforce, so that's what I decided to do here. 
By using pieces from 2151 Robo Raider, I was able to construct a new vessel, the Chrono Wing. This unlikely behemoth sports an impressive wingspan, flighted by two rear-facing propellers. Inside the sealed canopy, the professor can saunter through time in the lap of luxury. Beneath the porcelain basin, the wheel assemblies provide an elevation of status, but could probably be removed in the event of a water landing. Lastly, there is a removable fortified compartment that can house the most precious of plunders. All in all, I'm really happy with what I was able to accomplish with this combiner model. Now, this is based solely on first-hand circumstantial evidence, but it has been my experience that the Whirling Time Warper is strangely the rarest Time Cruiser set. I don't know if this is just happenstance, but I had a tough time tracking this one down for a reasonable price. I don't see any proof that this was a region-exclusive set or short-stocked in any way, but I just haven't seen many of them in the wild. I think there are a few too many rare or expensive pieces to recommend just parting it out on Bricklink though, so I think buying a completed used set is still the way to go. The Whirling Time Warper is an odd one, and carries a fair bit of notoriety because of a certain piece, but it still gets a warm recommendation from me. It pairs nicely with the Time Tunnelator if you want to expand the Twister Armada, but it also serves as an interesting adversary for something like the Hypnocruiser if you want to flesh out the rivalry there. Next time, we will be taking a look at the flagship of the Time Cruiser's fleet. I hope to see you then. I've been your host, RR Slugger, and time flies when you're having fun. <laughs>